Hi, I'm Elliot. You might be asking, is Tenorshare 4 U key the master key to your iPhone or just a box of empty promises? Well, you're in the right place to find out. While there are services and uh, software out there claiming to do just that, it's crucial to approach them with caution. Some might not be as safe or reliable as they seem, but don't worry, I've got some good news for you. In this video, we're going to show you multiple ways to legally remove that lock from your iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches. And the best part, these methods are not only safer, but also free, quick, and guaranteed to work. So let's dive in and get your device back in action. Quick heads up before we continue. I'm here to help those who own their gadgets but forgot their login details. No funny business or illegal stuff here. Let's keep it clean and stick to YouTube's rules. Awesome, let's dive back in. In dealing with the iPhone lock to owner issue, there are several services that stand out for their effectiveness. Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app, for instance, uses advanced technology to simplify the process, making it accessible even if you're not tech savvy. Then there's Safe Unlocks, which has been praised for its quick and user-friendly approach. Another service, Locked to Owner, specifically targets devices that are locked to a previous owner, offering a tailored solution. And let's not forget about the iUnlock app. It's a straightforward tool that's gained a solid reputation in this area. A buddy of mine had a similar issue with a secondhand Apple Watch. After some trial and error, they found these services to be reliable and effective, especially when compared to other methods that seemed a bit risky. Remember, these services are here to help in a legitimate and safe manner. Coming up next, we'll take a closer look at how to utilize Unlock Here's AI unlocking assistant. So stay tuned for that. It's important to note that the unlock services we've been discussing are primarily available in first world countries. However, if you're unable to access these services or choose not to use them, there's still an opportunity for you. We offer 250 unlocks every week to our viewers. To be eligible, here's what you need to do. Just click the like button below. Make sure you're subscribed to stay updated. Drop a comment with your device's model, say iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and your country. By completing these steps, you're automatically entered into our weekly draw. It's a simple yet effective way to potentially get your device unlocked. So make sure to follow each step. To start unlocking your device using unlockhere.com, an AI assistant powered web app, first open your browser on your phone or computer. Head to unlockhere.com. When you're there, you'll meet Nifty, the AI bot, let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock by clicking on Activation Lock. You will then choose your device type, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Now it's time to enter your IMEI or serial number. For iPhones, use the IMEI number. Some iPads and Apple Watches will also have an IMEI. They come with a SIM card slot or cellular capabilities. Most of them, however, only have a serial number. To find this on your lock device, press the sleep button, press it again, and then tap the eye icon at the bottom right corner to see your device info. Then enter that device information here to proceed with the unlocking process. Next, enter your basic information. This is important to link the order to your account and to ensure you can receive your order confirmation. You'll get a confirmation code sent to your email later on. Make sure to agree to the terms confirming that you're not attempting to unlock a stolen device. Before you proceed, don't forget to click I'm not a robot and complete a quick CAPTCHA. Afterward, click Start Process, and just like that, you're well on your way. You should receive an email with a confirmation code shortly after check your spam or junk folder too, as it sometimes ends up there. Once you've received the code, retrieve it, enter it back on Unlock Here, and shortly after, complete a step to confirm that you're not a robot. Then simply tap the button to validate the information and the unlocking process will begin smoothly. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. 
to remove the iCloud lock from your device, one effective option is to contact Apple support with the original invoice. This invoice acts as proof of purchase and ownership. To do this, visit the Apple support website and choose how you'd like to get in touch. You can opt for a phone call, chat, or email. Once connected with a support representative, explain that you need assistance in removing the iCloud lock and provide them with the details from your invoice, such as the date of purchase, store name, or transaction details. Apple support may ask for additional information to verify your ownership before they proceed with unlocking your device. Another method to consider is resetting the Apple ID associated with the device. This can be done on Apple's official website. If you know the Apple ID but have forgotten the password, or if the device is still linked to the previous owner's Apple ID, visit the Apple ID webpage and select Forgot Apple ID or Password. Follow the prompts, which may involve entering the email address associated with the Apple ID, answering security questions, or verifying a code sent to a trusted device. Once your identity is verified, you can reset the password. After resetting, use the new credentials to unlock your device. Remember, this method is only effective if you have legitimate access to the Apple ID linked to the device. iCloud Unlock software can be a solution for those looking to remove the iCloud lock from their device, but it's worth noting that this method usually requires a Windows computer, limiting its accessibility. To begin with, you'll need to find a reliable iCloud Unlock software. There are many options available, but it's crucial to be cautious. Not all software works as advertised, and some might not be safe to use. A significant concern when downloading software from the internet is the risk of malware. Malware can compromise your computer's security and potentially lead to data loss or other security issues. Considering these risks, a safer alternative might be using an online service like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks. These services do not require you to download any software. They operate through a web interface, which means you can use them directly from your browser. This significantly reduces the risk of encountering malware. Furthermore, these online services are user-friendly and accessible from any device with an internet connection, not just those with a Windows operating system. If the seller of your iPhone is cooperative, they can help remove the iCloud lock by following a few simple steps. This method is particularly useful if you've bought a device that's still linked to the seller's iCloud account. Here's what the seller needs to do. The seller should visit iCloud.com and sign in using their iCloud credentials. Once logged in, they need to click on Find iPhone. This option displays all devices associated with their iCloud account. They should locate and select the device that's causing the iPhone lock to owner issue. After selecting the device, they should click on Erase. This step will reset the device the final step is to click on Remove from Account. This action ensures that the device is no longer linked to their iCloud account. By completing these steps, the seller will effectively remove the iCloud lock, allowing you to set up and use the iPhone without restrictions. Thanks for sticking with us during this tutorial. We trust that it has effectively delivered the answers you were looking for.